I'm replacing the door on my shop and the one that I'm using is not new. So it's a little bit beat up and it has a few dents and dings. And another thing that it has is a deadlock hole that I want to get rid of. So I thought I would make a quick video showing how I'm going to deal with these problems. First step is to sand everything and that's to rough up the paint so that the filler that I'm using will stick to it. To cover the hole for the deadlock, I've cut a patch from thin sheet metal. And to fasten that in place, I'm going to use self-drilling screws. But I'm not driving these all the way in. I want to cut them off flush with the patch after. And notice that I'm using a stick to hold the patch while I drive in those first screws. You really don't want to be holding this thin piece of metal with your fingers if one of those screws catches and the thing spins. Next, I'm going to mix up some auto body filler, and this stuff is great. You mix the two parts together, and about 10 minutes later, it's rock solid. So you really don't have a lot of time to mess around with it. I would normally do this in two passes, but since this is just a door on my shop and I want to get it done quickly, I'm going to do it in one pass by overfilling it and then sanding that down. While I'm waiting for the filler to dry, I've got another repair to make. This is a small screw hole, and I could fill this, but instead what I'm going to do is drive in a bigger screw, and then cut that off and grind it down flush with the surface. With everything done on the side that was painted blue, I can flip the door over and patch the hole on the other side in the same way. It's a good idea to get some insulation in that hole, but you'll probably want to get the sanding done before you do that. And then it's the same procedure again. Dry the screws in, cut them off flush, and then fill it up. I have another hole on this side that's too big for a screw, but too small for a patch. So what I'm going to do instead is just pound it in a bit and fill it up. With all the sanding done, I took it out back and I spray painted the entire door. 
And with that done, it was ready to install on the shop. 